As a family therapist, there are certain issues I like to look at, thought about, and discuss with the members of the society. There are certain things which can affect the family. And today, I would like to talk about workaholism. People who have been obsessed with the work, they have been addicted with the work. The way people have been addicted with the drugs, have been addicted with the alcohol, and you find these people, they are so much obsessed with the work. It is so sort of compulsive. And this has affected the family. The wife has been affected. They have no time for their wives. They have no time for their children. They have no time for their colleagues. Every time it is work, 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 work. They don't think about themselves. They end up being affected emotionally. They end up having burnout. Even their joy is affected. It's such a very difficult life. Sorry. <clears throat> it's very difficult to have a workaholic as your spouse. It's also difficult to have a workaholic as your partner. So workaholism, it end up making having burnout. You have stress, you have depression, you have sickness, blood pressure, you have diabetes, you have immuno challenges. It come up with, with a lot of problems. And one thing which I would caution the workers. When I'm talking about workaholism, I know what I'm talking about. Having been the public service for 33 years and in a responsible position. I know what workaholism can do. Now, I would like to say this. For those who are workaholics, and they think it is a very great badge, I would caution them that this world will not stop if you die. If you have an attack in your place of work, because of our working, this world will not stop. But your family will never be the same. That is why I've said in one of my books, I've said, graveyard is full of people who thought that they were indispensable. If you go and resurrect them, they will be surprised that the organization and the institutions they were working, they are still working. And everything is moving. Nothing will stop. Even your vacancy will be filled immediately you die. The myth of seeing your vacancy, your shoes, it will be difficult to get somebody to fit in your shoes. Those are lies. Those are just public religions. So now, I'm going to look today, what are the symptoms of somebody who is a workaholic? What are, the, what are the symptoms of somebody who is a workaholic? Because it is very important for you to understand about the symptoms so that you can be able to interrogate yourself. You can be able to know if at all you are in that category. I'm talking for this workaholism can be a problem not only in the public service, but even in your private business. One of the work, one of the symptoms is you work more often than you are to. That is one symptom. Many hours, and not only many hours, you are so much entrenched to work. And you find that when you're with that person, they are always talking about work. My work, my work, my job. It's a symptom of an workaholic. Then, 
These workaholics, another symptom is that they have few friends. They don't have time to, to socialize. They don't have time to relate with your friend, their friends. They don't have time with their families. They don't have time with their children. They have totally, that is a world which is alien to them. They are caught also trouble focusing on issues. Sometimes they get mental trip, even when we are talking to them. They become mentally disoriented. They are also having problem of insomnia. It's time for them to sleep because they are thinking about work. These people also carry work. They carry files with them. So even when it comes to supper time, they are still having a file with them. They are still working on the computer, even when they sit in meal time. These people, they are not interested in anything else apart from the job. They don't have a passion for anything. In weekends and vacations, they are on working. They end up having work related stress because of not having rest. They can't remember the last time they were at home, they were free, having a rest. They don't have a break. They feel they are they feel they are not staying busy when they are not working. When you get these people saying, you see now, staying here, it means that I'm not staying, I'm not busy. No. These people end up getting stressed because of work. It's a symptom. And they don't try to be called workaholic, although they are. They try to pretend. They are not workaholics. My friends, remember, you invest so much on work. You get addicted to work. Unapua na kasumba ya kasi. But remember, I'm not telling you not to work very hard. I'm not telling you not to be committed to work. There is a difference between commitment to work and addiction to work. Becoming a workaholic as safe the world devolves only on work. My friends, I hope these symptoms of worker origin will help you to interrogate if you are in that category or also even help your friends, help your spouses. These are signals that all is not well. Thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you very much for supporting a moment with your choir. For those who have not joined this channel, I would encourage you to do so. You will be more empowered. Thank you very much. Have a powerful afternoon. Thank you.